and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the San Diego Padres taking on the San Francisco Giants. Along with Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars of the sport. Fernando Tatis Jr. leads the team at OPS, so he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks, he'll barrel up the baseball, He'll hit the ball in the gaps. He'll hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going good. That's him right now, and he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. Our starter in this one, Alex Wood. And Chris, he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. Yeah, his batting average against is actually better when he's in a jam. So. Oh, diving stop. Throw to first, and that's a great play for the out. Well, you can see right there, he looks very comfortable going to the backhand. Nice diving stop, gets up to complete the play. That'll fire the boys up for sure. Juan Soto in the box here lets that one go for a ball. There's a strike. I think he was sitting off speed there. And the pitch. Aye. On the corner for a strike. Wait. And that one is lifted in the air. Peterson makes the grab. Two up, two down. Two out, space is empty. Here's Manny Machado now. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. That one missing inside. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Welcome back. And today's starter, Blake Snell. What do we need to know here? Comes into this start sporting a lifetime ERA just over three. Whoa, He's been right pretty great for most of his big league career. Can't wait to watch him in this one. So two balls and no strikes. And that one fouled off. The line in the pitch. And a good eye there. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Swings and misses. And it's three and two. Line drive. And that should be extra bases. Around first, digging for two. And he's there with a leadoff double. All over that one right there. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. On the ground. In plenty of time to first. One gone, bottom half of the first. Tyro Estrada to the plate. Out towards right center field. Tatis after it. And makes the grab. Two down. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. In there and it's 0-1. You know Chris Blake does everything right-handed except for everything he does while playing baseball. High fly ball out towards left field. That's back there. Just shy of the wall. New inning getting started. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Padres, Fernando Tatis Jr. In the air, center field. Matos under this one. He's there. He's got it. One up, one down. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. Matt Carpenter oh, now at the plate as he swings through strike one. In the on-deck circle, you really want to use that opportunity to see some pitches and time up the fastball. Oh, Last thing you want to do is miss a good, hittable fastball early in the count. Oh, and two now. Swings and misses, struck him out. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at-bat like that as a hitter other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. Bart makes the catch. 
back here at the ballpark. We head to the bottom of the second. Now it's the DH. Mike Yastrzemski swings and misses. Strike one. Mike Yastrzemski originally drafted by the oh. Orioles. 14th round out of Vanderbilt in 2013. The Giants got him in March of 2019. And San Francisco's really where he got a shot to play. Yastrzemski checks his swing. Appeal down to third. He did not go around. Bounced up the middle. Throw over to Cronenworth. One up, one down. Here's Jack Peterson. One home run shy of 200 for his career. And that's in there for strike one. Snell, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a curve, and he works in a changeup. Bounce to the right side. Kim with the throw to first. And that quickly, two away. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. Joey Bart, the next to hit, takes ball one. That one out to right. Tatis brings it in. And the inning is over. Giants go to... Back here at Oracle Park. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. That's off the mark. 1-0. Grisham, a former Gold Glove winner, 26 years old. And he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 325 in his last 10 games. The pitch. This one grounded to Davis. Tosses to first. And one away in the top of the third. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe oh, drive man. it into the gap. Ha Sung Kim in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Swings through that one for strike one. This one high in the air to left center. Matos, he ranges to his right, makes the grab on the run. And a couple of quick outs. And now it's Austin Nola. Just missed. Nola measures six feet even, hitting ninth in today's lineup. And he was a fifth round pick back in 2012. To the right side. Gets it to first. That's out number three. Nothing doing that. And welcome back as we go to the last of the third. And here's the first baseman, Ronald Guzman. That's in there. Strike one. And that nope. one off the outside edge. Off the plate inside, and it's two and one. Swing and a miss. Pitch misses, and it's three and two. Got him swinging. Here's the center fielder, Luis Matos. On the ground to short. Over to first. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's got his second double of the game. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Davis batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Over one so far. The next pitch misses, and it's one and two. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. And down on strikes, and that'll do it. Wood back to work. To third. Sends it to first. Bogarts retired. Yeah, I'm looking at his body language, and he just doesn't seem like things are in sync, and the ball's just not coming off his bat the way it did earlier in the regular season. Soto takes a ball as he stands in for the second time.
1 1 now. Out to center. Matos pulls that one down. Out number two. And now it's Manny Machado. Swing and a miss. One. That's strike one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Deal two. And there's a ball. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down. Back here in San Francisco. Bottom four. To the batter now, Tyro Estrada. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. Kicks and deals. Ground ball right side. Whips it to first. And Estrada is out. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. Hanniger stands in now and watches strike one. High fly ball. Pretty well struck out towards right center. Grisham going back on this one. And he makes the catch on the track. Just missed a homer that time. Swing and a high fly ball in the air left field. Soto going back. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Welcome back. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. And the pitch. That one missed. You know, these Padres, they're not going to be happy with the at-bats they've been having so far. We're in the back half of the game, and they're still searching for a base runner. He's Dives, but it kicks off his glove. He doesn't have a play, and they don't get the out. Now it's Matt Carpenter. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and uh, these type of home run totals. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Tatis runs. Right side, hard hit. Fires over to Guzman. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. He's trying for third. Line drive. He holds it in. Two away. To second with. Back here at the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now Jack Peterson. There's a strike. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side. Same side he throws from. On the ground to first, Cronenworth steps on first for the out. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. Bart, or top prospect for the Giants, and now Buster Posey's replacement. He swings and fouls one off. One down, base is empty. So now one and two. And delivers outside. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And another ball. He goes down looking. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2. He goes off speed. Gets the out. And it's fouled away. The pitch. And a big swing and a miss. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Giants are down. Top of the sixth inning. Now at the plate, Trent Grisham. Wood back to work. There's a strike. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches. Runner on the goal. 
Pitch misses in. Throw to second, and he's out. New arm for the Giants, Sean Manaya. He's averaging more than one hit allowed per inning pitch this season, and that's not where you want to be at all. So we'll see how he does here. The wind of the pitch. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And that one hops the wall. Kim into second, and he's got a double. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And here is Austin Nola. And that is cut on and missed. And that is strike one. Ground ball up the middle. Two away. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Back to the top of the lineup. It's Xander Bogarts now. Squirts away a little bit. Nice job behind the plate there. The lefty, the 1 0. Out to short, Anderson. Slings it across. Bogarts retired. And, and welcome back. Bottom of the six. And digging in for San Francisco. Luis Matos. Going one. Matos, just 21 years old. And he was born in Venezuela. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Next offering is in for a strike. And that one hammered. That's back there. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Grisham gets it back in quickly. Runner holds it second. So another base hit could get us the first run of the game. Here's Tim Anderson. There's a strike. Runner at second. Nobody out. And it's one and one. belt and fires this one popped up yeah they take care of Anderson for the out one away yeah that was a wasted RBI opportunity but competitor like him he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat Davis in the box now take strike one that's in there no balls two strikes tonight his slider has been really impressive I mean tight spin seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand Owen two to Davis. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Man at second. Caught him looking for the K. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go ahead run in scoring position. Diving and he can't make the play. And they strike first as they take a 1 0 lead. Well done. Drives in the run. Didn't make quality contact on the ground ball to the pull side, but sometimes it's just a matter of finding the hole in the defense. Mitch Hanniger, the next giant to hit. In there for strike one. Hanniger measures six feet, two inches, 215 pounds, and he's driven in eight runs over his last 10 games. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now top of inning number seven, stepping in for San Diego, Juan Soto. Swing and a miss. One. Strike one. Up the middle. Tosses to first. Oh. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. So the Giants with a new pitcher on the hill, Tyler Rogers. He's into the game with the bases empty. Machado in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Action in the San Francisco bullpen. Taylor Rogers appears to be getting loose. Line drive base hit. Around first, heading for two. 
Peterson whips it in quickly as the tying run is forced to stop at second. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tying run and start us over here in the late innings. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. One out and a runner at second. This one popped up. And they take care of Tatis for the out. Two down. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Carpenter swings through it for strike one. Now there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. On the ground, down the line, and it's foul. Machado on its second with two down. And he'll two. Back to right. Hanniger has a beat on it. And that'll do it. One left for set for the last half of the seventh and now Mike Yastrzemski that one's in there that's strike one foul ball here comes a pitch and a swing and a miss picks up strikeout number seven and Jack Peterson stands in and a good fastball to start him off at strike one. And that's in there at the knees. Next pitch is downstairs. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Three two now. This is a really good feeling for a hitter at this point in the ball game. You know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, you can hit home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. On to Bogarts. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. They go with one of their more. Experienced arms in this spot, Taylor Rogers. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Davis with the throw to first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. That's why you hug the lines on the corners late in a ball game like this, positioned perfectly. On the ground to third. Zips it to first. That takes care of Grisham. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. And first offering is fouled off. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. Very solid inning on the mound so far here in the eighth. Holding on to this narrow lead. This is exactly what they were looking for. To the right side. Gathers and throws to first. Third out. On to the bottom of the eighth. And now the first baseman, Ronald Guzman. There's the strike. Snell into his eighth inning of work, Singy. He's been good. Yeah, he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game. If you're going to get to him, you get to him early. They didn't do that today. We'll see what happens as this finishes. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now, not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. Bogarts handles the chance to first, and a couple of quick outs. Good 
Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. New arm for the Giants, Camilo. Ball. Now this is an extremely confident pitcher. He loves the pressure. Actually likes the one-run game better than a comfortable three-run save opportunity because that's when he pitches his best. The healthy cut. Tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. And a 1-1. Slider misses outside. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. Boom. That's cheddar, baby. Got him looking for the strikeout. Strike three called on a slider at the knees. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. Swung on, belted. Way back there. And that one's gone. Xander Bogarts hits one out. His 31st home run of the season hits 1-1. One, one. See a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. One down, and now it's Juan Soto. Smoked on the ground a second. Fires over to Guzman. They get the out on Soto. Manny Machado up to the plate. First offering misses the mark. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Johnny Brebbia getting loose out there. Alexander getting loose as well. That one the other way. Makes the catch inning over. But a run scores in the inning as this solo home run ties things up. All even now at 1 1. Back after this on the show. Your now into the ball game on defense, Luis Campusano. Now he takes over behind the play. Out of the bullpen for the Padres, Pedro Avila. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. First pitch fastball, a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. And the right hater deals. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Dives, and he can't hang on. Not in time. He's safe. Well, he found himself behind in the cow right there, but he didn't give in. He got that front foot down, and pitch recognition was on point. Pretty impressive for an 0-2 count. Now just one swing away from potentially walking this thing off. That one's in there, and the count one and one. Winning run stands at second. Got him swinging for the K. Slider got him for strike three. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. First pitch doesn't find the zone. In there at the knees for a strike. Right-hander kicks deals. And a base hit on the line. Runner around third on his way to the plate. Across is the winning run. And the Giants walk it off.
Well, you come into the ninth inning, it's a tied ball game. No one really wants to play extra, so everyone's looking at how we can get this game over with in regulation. Well, they got the run they needed, put one up, and they put one in the win column. And your final score here today, 2-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.